Before this video start, I will actually apologize to my viewers and also memberships. I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading because of exams even before that I was demotivated and I didn't upload any Skyblock videos. So I'm very sorry about it. And especially to my channel members, um, thank you guys so much for supporting. But at the same time, I'm very sorry that I haven't uploaded. You guys paid, but I didn't do what I promised. But yeah, these are the only members left. I would like to thank them because they helped me a lot. And uh, But I didn't repay, so I'm very sorry about it. Thank you Thomas Chen, Bandis, Wiki, Nixolos, and s s I can't pronounce it. Snap this. You get it. Anyways, let's start the video. Okay, I don't like making intros. Anyways, let's start the video. So you can see that the Beacon 5 can be made from the Forge. You first need to craft Beacon 1, which you can craft it with the Mythical Collection. And then you need to upgrade it in the Forge for like about a week to get the final version, which is Beacon 5. And then, here's the total materials you need. You can see on the left side. And yeah, now let's see how it works. This is the speed before placing a Beacon. And now we place a Beacon. We take a look again. You see it hasn't changed because you need to put some power crystal in it to charge it up. Each power crystal costs 256 star 4 and 2 hours to craft it in the forge. And then the power crystal will last for 2 days if you put it in the beacon. Boom, there we go. Now we got the effect now. And take a look. The minion speed is doubled. So the description said it should be 10%. So let's do some math here. Okay, so I'm not gonna hand write it, I'm using a calculator to do it. So, 43.7 times 0 0.9, which is 1 minus 10%. It should be 39.33. So why the fuck is it 20 seconds? I don't know who coded these beacons, but it's only one of them. These three admins. But they are very smart, okay? They add an extra 0 behind the 10%, making it 100%. Nice job. But this time it's just something similar like the Ice Bay War situation. That time you were supposed to do 10% increased damage, but then you can only do 10% of the damage. It was so dumb. Now let's look at the other buffs that the beacons give. So you can see it gives some potion effects like speed, uh, strength, defense, regeneration. Uh, these are quite useless, so we don't need to care about it. But here's the fun part. You can actually get some profile stats. Okay, look at this. You can get magic fine, pet luck. See creature chance, health, ability damage, intelligence, blah, 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 blah. You can, you guys can read it. Yeah, I don't need to read all of them. Anyway, so you get these profile stats that you can have, even you are not close to the beacon, even you in like a hub or like another world, you still get the buffs. And by the way, if you remove the beacon, the crystals will be gone. They don't save in it, just like minions. So don't do that. I'm doing this for experiment. Oh yeah, by the way, you cannot place more than one beacon, so don't try to buy another one. Well now to the fun part of the video. You can see that I actually bought two fly cages just to test this thing. How fast can the minion be? What's the max speed? So I'm using a snow minion. Originally, it should be like 6 seconds, but now it's 1.45 per action. It's just too fast. Look at look at this boy. He doesn't even have the time to talk. He just keep on placing blocks, mining blocks. This slave is so fast. I mean minion. <laughs> After several times of rejoining servers and replacing crystal, I managed to get a new record of 1.3 second per action. So I think this is the max speed for the snow minion and this should be the fastest of it. But then I realized that there's a faster minion and it's called the cobblestone minion. Okay, now let's take a look at the cobblestone minion speed. So I put a file first in it, fire catcher times two, and you see it's 1.2 second per action. <laughs> what the heck is this? Thank you admins for buffering, I mean, um, making, I mean like, uh, uh, making a mistake and make the beacon into 100% minion boost instead of 10%. You are very smart. And now I can abuse my cobblestone slave. Thank you. In the next part of the video, we'll be calculating how much XP and coins we make with full flash and catalyst in one day and also per 30 minutes. So before we continue, guys, 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 please hit the subscribe button, okay? This, this says that some of you are not subscribed, okay? You guys can click it. Uh, this is my first time saying it. I know it's annoying, but Please do subscribe because you see, you see, if you subscribe, you get handled within 1k once. You see, I couldn't subscribe to myself, so I didn't get handled at all. Okay, so please subscribe. Thank you. 
So now we're gonna compare using Fall Flash and Catalyst for the Snow Minions and see how much XP and coins we make. So in 30 minutes and 1 minion, I made uh, 565.1 XP, 3,264 3, coins, and then the calculation of 20 hours will be below. You guys can read it. Okay, I'm not gonna say it. I'm too lazy. Okay, goodbye. When I'm using Hypercatus, in 30 minutes, I made 1,247.4 XP, 7,929 coins with 1 million, and below is how much you can make in 24 hours. I'm too lazy to read it, and you don't want to listen to it. Yes. Okay, goodbye. The Beacon 5 worth about 80 mil. For its price, I don't think it's actually worth it that much. So if you guys want to take a look and try it out, for a beacon so i recommend you guys using beacon 3 or 4 it's on the auction host for like 30 mil or something i think and i think this is going to get patched very soon because i think the admins know already a few people made some videos about it but none of them were beacon 5 and this one is beacon 5. i hope you guys enjoyed this video and after this i'll be talking about my channel stuff all right so let me explain where have i been i've went to have exams i told you guys already if you guys forgot but yeah i'm not quitting skyblog I'm not quitting youtube i'm just having exams but right now to be honest i don't enjoy skyblog that much as before anymore but i'll still be making skyblog videos and in the future i'll be making a windcraft some series um so windcraft is an mmorpg minecraft server the best one i'll be making some videos introducing to you guys to windcraft i think furball made one but yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys don't know what it is yet. It's not a trash server, it's not a server promotion. Uh, I wasn't paid to do it, I enjoy the server very much. Instead, I paid the server for like a wank. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, and also, originally, today wasn't going to be this Beacon 5 video. There was an epic video that I spent so much time on editing it. But then when I was editing it, when I was applying it, and in fact to it, my PC crashed. My, my PC legit crashed, it froze, and I have to shut it down, and turn it back on, and the project file is gone. I spent like 2 days on editing it, and it's now gone. So, I think that's gonna get a delay just like all the Hypixel updates. It's uh, I promise you guys, it's a very epic video, I'm sure you guys will love it. I spent a long time editing it, it's not a long video, it's a short video, it's not that short. But it's very entertaining. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll be making more videos about Draft and Mines. I won't be doing dungeons anymore. It's too boring for me. 1k1 snow handle. Fuck me, okay? Anyways, see y'all.